The aircraft was climbing, but it was not climbing fast enough. And then, quite unpredictably, and for no possible flying reason that anyone could discover in nine weeks of inquiry, one of the flight crew pulled the lever which retracted the droops, the movable flaps on the front of the wings. The lever was in the bottom center of your picture. It was moved. From that moment, Papa India was in serious trouble, though disaster could still have been avoided. The nature of the trouble was first of all that the speed of the aircraft was only 162 knots. It should have been at least 225 knots. On BEA Tridents, there's a regulation which says that droops must not be retracted below a speed of 225 knots. But that's not all. The height was now only around 1,770 feet. It should have been at least 3,000 feet according to the flight manual. The result of this inexplicable action was that Papa India was put into a stall. In other words, it began to lose its ability to fly, and the mechanical stall warnings gave this news to the crew. The stall warning system produces flashing lights and a noise over the pilot's headphones. It disengages the autopilot and creates an automatic movement in the pilot's control column called a stick shake. This is followed by a stick push designed to push down the nose of the aircraft and increase speed. On Papa India, there were three stick shakes and then three stick pushes. The aircraft was losing height fast, but it should still have been possible to recover from the stall and fly the Trident out of trouble. But after the third stick push, someone on the flight deck decided to cancel the stall recovery process, the one thing that would have saved Papa India, by pulling an override lever. The lever was pulled, and that dumped the entire automatic system. The Attorney General, Sir Peter Rawlinson, told the inquiry, the lifting of that lever sealed the fate of the aircraft and all those on board. The lever was lifted when Papa India was 128 seconds into its flight. From then on, it fell like a stone. 22 seconds later, it crashed in a field at Staines. There were no survivors.